Welcome back to the huddle, let's have a look at the news leading into round 10. Jai Arrow has not been named and is definitely missing this week. And also at the Titans, Cardi has been named on the bench and AJ Brimson is debuting at 5'8". At the Rabbitohs, Cameron Murray has been named on the bench as Sam Burgess is returning from suspension. And Payne Haas has been named despite suffering that nasty looking ankle injury a couple of weeks ago. Sean Johnson's out for one to two weeks with an ankle injury. And Zach Lomax, I brought him in at the start of the season. He's finally been named inside the starting 17 but it's probably just that utility role so who knows how many minutes he'll get but at least he's been named. So the potential trades for round 10 are bringing in Fenua for Kenna and also bringing in Taumalolo for Jai Arrow. Now I know Kenna may be back for around 13 but I'm not 100% confident in that. Fenua will hopefully play around 13 and he should make some cash as he has a break even of negative 35. This first trade frees up the cash to bring in Taumalolo for Jai Arrow and it's a bit of a shame to have to get rid of Arrow. I would kind of like to hold him, but he's not playing this week. He misses round 13. I need to start prepping for that round 13, especially with all the injuries that are happening. So Tamalolo, he's in form, plays round 13. Let's hope he can have a big one against the Tigers this round. So be sure to let me know what you think of these trades in the comment section below. I'm also tempted to bring in Fafita or Marty Tapao. Now Paul Gallen seems to have an impact on Fafita. I really should have bought Fafita in while Gal was injured. Fafita always seems to step up when Gao's out of the squad. So I'm keen to see how Gao impacts Fafita's output. And Marty Tapao does have a low break even of around nine. So it could be a good time to bring him in. I'm just a little bit wary because a few weeks ago against Para, he did only produce 37 points despite then scoring 97 and 86. But let me know in the comments section, should I go for Marty Tapao or Fafita or stick with Tamalolo? So here's the starting 17 for round 10. Tamalolo replaces Arrow in the starting 17. And the big decision I need to make, because Murray's been named on the bench, I need to decide whether to play him or Fenua. Now Fenua's coming up against the Cowboys, which could be a tough matchup, but I'm really unsure of how many minutes Murray's gonna get off the bench there. So comment down below whether you think I should play Murray or give Fenua a crack. The vice captain for round 10 is going to be the new recruit, Jason Tamalolo. He's coming up against the Tigers, who he averages 68 points against. I'm hoping he'll continue to see around 60 minutes, pump out those base stats, and maybe even cross over for a try. But coming up against the Broncos, I'm gonna keep the captain an armband on Jake Travojevic. He scored 88 points in base last week, so I'm hoping he'll continue this form into round 10. So let me know your captain and vice captain combos for the round, and feel free to ask any questions about your team in the comment section. Join the conversation and get involved. Don't forget to check the team list one hour before the game. I hope you have a massive round 10. Let's go.